Hi guys, this is Jay Karthi again from my YouTube channel Let's Play with Arduino. So in this video, I'll be showing how to interface a ACS712 current sensor module with Arduino. So the most important thing about this video is this ACS712 current sensor module was sponsored by icstation.com. So let's get to the circuit. So that's the basic circuit that I've set up right now to show that the current flow in the circuit measured by the multimeter as well as the ACS712 current sensor module is almost same. So we have a 12 volt battery that's down there to which a multimeter is connected in series which will be acting as an ammeter right now and measuring the current values which is flowing through the circuit and we have the ACS712 current sensor module sponsored by icstation.com and that's down there so here you can see that these two are the input terminals and we have a VCC ground and output which is present here also so for the VCC we will be giving 5 volts that's from the Arduino's 5 volt and I have the ground pin connected to the ground of the Arduino and we will be getting some analog output values from the current sensor that I have hooked up to the A0 pin of the Arduino and I have uploaded a sketch onto the Arduino which will be displaying the voltage output of the analog sensor that's the current sensor and we have a rheostat in between as it is present in the circuit depending upon the resistance of which the current flow in the circuit depends right now the circuit is open so it's showing 0 amps so let's get to the data sheet of the current sensor module So here you can see that whenever there is 0 amps of current flowing in the input of the current sensor, the voltage output given by the current sensor is 2.5 volts. So you can very well see that it is showing 2.5 volts that's displayed by the serial monitor of the Arduino so let me close the circuit now and when I close the circuit you can see that there will be a spike in the current which will be measured by the multimeter as well as the current sensor down there so you can see that it was 2.5 volts 2.5 amps so let me stop the auto scroll so that you can see that the spike has occurred and that's around 2.75 volts. So let's get back to the data sheet. Whenever it's 2.7 volts, 2.7 volts comes come some, somewhere around here and it's two amps. So you can see that whenever it's 2.7 volts, we get a um, current reading of 2 amps, which was showing up on the multimeter right now. There will be a little bit of our error and it will be from sensor to sensor. So we have to just calibrate and add in few lines of code and scale it and you can get the values in the amps also and it can be printed on the serial monitor on an LCD display whatever it is and can be used for various other applications so these current sensor modules can be used for a various application kind of stuff and say for example you are building an energy meter you can use it and the most important thing that I forgot to mention about the ACS current sensor module sponsored by icstation.com is it can measure AC currents as well as DC currents so the AC currents ranges from 0 to 20 amps and the DC currents ranges from minus 10 to plus 10 amps. That's it. So thanks for watching the video. If you like my video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel to get updates about the upcoming videos.